Hey YouTube, in the last well, three months or so since I put up my video showing you how to configure your MacBook or your Mac, any Mac will work for that matter, to share its internet connection, its airport connection to your Xbox 360 by a wired Ethernet cable or an Ethernet cable. So um, today I'm going to show you how to configure that for Airport Extreme. Um, before, I was telling everyone, you're out of luck, I don't know how to help you, I don't have an Airport Extreme, but now I do. I picked one up this weekend, so I'll show you how to configure. First thing we need to do, open system preferences, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Now, I'm going to move this up a little bit, click on network. Now, click on ethernet, and it should say that it's not connected or whatever, I don't know. And normally it will say using DHCP, we want to change that to manually. For our, for, blah, 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 for our IP address, type in 10.0.0.uno. .0 and for our subnet mask, type in 255.255.255. .255 .255. Two five five dot zero, and click apply. Now click show all, and click sharing. And we want to start internet sharing. So go ahead and check the little box that says internet sharing. Once it says share your connection from, click the little scroll down button to airport, and then to computers using Ethernet, and check that box. Go ahead and quit your system preferences now. Now, in spotlights, type in airport utility, or however many times you need the letters you need to type to get airport utility. I just find it easier using spotlights than going to your utilities folder. Okay, now this pops up. You see your airport extreme router right there. Um, you see manual config there. There's my router, there's manual config. You want to know what? I really should have changed my um, SSID for my wireless network to... Skynet, because that's the name of the evil computer network in the Terminator movies. Oh, well, that's beside the point. Anyways, manual setup. Click that. All right. Grab your pen and your paper. Where's my pen at? Crap. <laughs> ah, here's my pen. Type, or write down this number right there. Write that down right there. Right there, the one that says IP address. Don't write down my number. Write down your number, not mine. If you write down my number, you will be out of luck, and you'll be like, Why isn't this working? Domri7337, help me. Please. Oh my gosh, help me. And I'll be like, nah, watch the video again. Okay, now let's go ahead and click Network, and click DHCP. For our DHCP range, we need to select the little pull-down menu and select 192.168.1. And then you fill in this little blanky doohickey right there with a 1, and then you should have a .x. For a beginning DHCP address, let's type in 192.168.1.1. And for the ending DHCP address, type in 192.168.1.200. Now, if you've done a lot of networking, you would say, But isn't the ending DHCP address usually 254? Yes, you're right. But in this case, type in 200, not 254, 200. It will not work if you type in 254. Um, there's really no need to have 254 inning addresses because I highly doubt you'll have 254 computers or Xboxes or computers and Xboxes connected to your router. That'd be really cool though. Anyways, for our DHCP least select 4 and we can now apply the settings. Click update. Don't forget to click update. It won't do any good if you don't click update. <sighs> I'm in a really bad mood right now. I'm sorry. Click out of airport utility. Alright, log in the cables to your Xbox, to the wired Ethernet jack on your Mac, and to the wired Ethernet jack on your Xbox. And I'm gonna. Okay, now we want to change the settings to our Xbox. So select your Xbox settings on your TV or your computer monitor or whatever. Input select. Click HDMI. Not HDMI or whatever. There we go. So, no, oh, sorry. I'm a little ahead of myself, aren't I? 
Okay. Okay. Bear with me. Okay. You see, I'm not connected to Xbox Live right now. Yay. Whoopee. Go ahead and go over to your system blade and type in network settings. You don't type that in. You select it. And click edit settings. And click IP settings. And click manual. And click IP address. For your IP address, type in 10.0.0.2. Write that down if you're not typing it in right now. And click done. For a subnet mask, type 255.255.0. Click done. For a gateway, type in 10.0.0.1. Click done. And click done. And click test Xbox Live connection. It will confirm it in my case, but it will normally pass. So go ahead and click back because it will fail no matter what. Um, and click back one more time. And click back one more time. And go down to DNS settings and select manual. For our primary DNS server, type in 192.168.1.1. And click done. And for our secondary DNS, this is what you wrote down, remember? The one that I said, don't write down mine, but write down yours, yeah. So type in whatever you wrote down and click done. Don't write what I have in there, write down what you have written down. Capiche? Capiche? Click done. Oh wow, I really need to change my ringtone. Give me a second. And click test Xbox Live. Okay, if everything goes well, everything should confirm. For the ICMP, it's going to take a little longer. So, as you can see, it's taking a little longer. You know what? I really need to... Oh, my iPhone's going off now. Xbox Live. Yo. No. Hello? No. No, I don't want Dish Network TV. No. And, as you can see... Wired, confirmed, 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 connected, moderate. You will not get any better than moderate with this setup. Do not ask me how, how do I get my NAT settings to open? How do I do that? You don't. Mine's moderate. If I knew how to change it, I would. But I can't. What I'm actually doing um, right now is I'm trying to create a um, preference pane option for Mac OS 10.5.1. One um, for the NAT setting us to hopefully make it open. Just uh, I just don't have time, so I haven't even thought about how to do that or what to do or anything. So, anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and try setting in Xbox Live now. Click B, 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 and Xbox Live. Domeries, that's my gamer tag. And see, I should. Woohoo! I got two friends online. Let's see what I can do with my friend. Mary Eppin Poppins and MM Baseball. Hey, shout out to you two. And then we got Brock. There's. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Brock, you are ninja, by the way. Let's see. Man named Jane. Yeah, you're good. And Brock is ninja as well. Pope Seth. I mean, come on. This guy is ninja. Now, Garrett, if you had Xbox Live, I would say you're ninja as well, but you don't have Xbox Live, because I know you're going to be watching this video. Anywho, um, yeah, thank you for watching. I can't help you with a moderate NAT setting. If I do get that preference pane option up and running to make this so much easier, I'll take these videos, no, I won't take these videos down. I'll just post that preference pane option in the video description to download. I'll upload it to code.google.com. Um, but anyways, thank you for watching.